Haley's Comet? Nope. New Discovery is a hundred thousand times bigger. All right, wait, what? So they found a comet five times the size of our sun. That sounds weird, creepy, scary, and all that jazz, right? So stay tuned. But I bet you could totally hear sound in space. In space, no one can hear you scream. Every day. Stay cool. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Yeah, for me. An update. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. This is space. There's space all over the place. Eyes to the skies. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor news science upon you. This is a Thor news presentation. Thor news presents. All right. This wonderful article by Sean Roseman on USA Today. Today. Astronomers in Germany have found a massive comet-like object packed with the essentials of life. Water, nitrogen, carbon, oxygen, sulfur, and complaining. Wait, before you get scared, have no fear. I'm sure it's trillions of light years away. Really, really, really far away. If it was dangerous, they wouldn't tell us about it. You know, so have heart. Also, science passed a law saying that no deadly celestial objects are allowed within five light years of planet Earth. So you can rest easy, buddy. Get back to work, pay off that national debt. Because it's big, it ain't gonna pay off itself. The icy object has been ripped apart, scattering debris near a burned out star. It's also similar in composition to the famed Halley's Comet, but it's about 100,000 times larger and contains more water. Astronomers in Garching, Germany, used the Hubble Space Telescope to make the discovery. Wait, you guys gonna let German scientists use it, but not Mike Brown, Constantine Batigan, Scott Shepard, or Chad Trujillo? Look for Planet Nine? That seems unfair and suspicious. They say the debris from the object is polluting the white dwarf, or a star such as the sun that runs out of nuclear fuel. The white dwarf is located about 170 light years away from Earth. All right, whew, see? I was real worried for a second there. Real, real worried. It's the first time scientists have discovered comet-like material in a white dwarf's atmosphere. About a quarter to a half of the white dwarfs are polluted by the debris of asteroid-like bodies. Why well, they gotta be white dwarfs? Why can't they be like stellarly Diverse quality dwarfs. Wait, shit. I mean, dwarf is like not a good thingy. Like, stellarly diverse, equality friendly celestial objects. That's what you should call them. Make sure nobody gets offended ever. The discovery also suggests there could be planets that have survived the star's demise. Uh, defined survived, buddy. Those planets, the astronomer said, may have drawn the icy object toward the white dwarf. What? So, how big are they? If they can draw some giant massive five sun sized thingy to a white dwarf. And doesn't it have its own drawn power? It's a lot like Taylor Swift. The cosmic find also tells researchers that there may be a belt of comets orbiting the burned out star similar to the solar system's Kuiper belt near Neptune. What? So we have a giant comet? Oh my god. That's crazy. Okay, be scared again, and I don't even know why. The comets from the Kuiper belt, NASA said, may be responsible for providing water. No, they're not! That's just stupid. And other material that served as the basis for the creation of Earth billions of years ago. The researcher who led the discovery team, C. Yai Zhu, said this is the first time nitrogen has been found in debris falling onto a white dwarf. Nitrogen is a very important element for life as we know it. This particular object is rich in nitrogen, more so than any object observed in our solar system. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was fascinating. Another wonderful story from 170 light years away. Maybe one day the ESA, NASA, science will come up with a technology that will allow us to find really cool shit within our own solar system. And personally, I cannot wait for that day. Sounds like a great day. All right? So, this little weekend fluff piece is brought to you by me, USA Today, NASA, Germany, and science. So, make of it what you will, people. And have a great weekend. God bless everyone. May the force be with you always. Live long and prosper. And don't be a giant comet that destroys everything. And that's today's lesson. All right. We're done here. I think. This, this is pretty short for me. I guess it was kind of a fluffy article. So, now I'm just trying to fluff up my own video at the end and talk nonsense. That, that is rude. Can't waste your time like that. Okay, I gotta hit the button.